This is a Samsung Galaxy S4 Take Apart Repair Guide, brought to you by Repairs Universe. To begin with the repair, the first thing you need to do is power off the device completely. From there we can use your nail or safe open pry tool to remove the back cover. Once the back cover is removed, we can remove the battery, SIM card, and memory card. Now have it nine small Phillips screws, size double zero, that will need to be removed from the back cover. With these screws removed, we can now use the safe open pry tool and pry along the seam in between the screen and the back housing to fully remove the back housing. We suggest starting somewhere near the top and just gliding the pry tool along that inner seam to begin releasing the back housing. With the first few clips released, it should be a very simple process of gliding this pry tool along the inner seam to release the other clips. Once all clips are released, you can then remove the back housing. With the motherboard now exposed, we have three small fill screws that will need to be removed. We now have seven connections that we're going to release from the motherboard, as well as this small metal cover over the USB port. To release this, just use your safe open pry tool and gently lift it, making sure not to bend the metal, but just slide it out of the clips that's holding it in place. These first two connections are just antenna connections that just need to be released using a safe open pry tool. We then have one pop connection, two pop connections, another antenna, another pop, and lastly another antenna. Located on the top here is a small cover that we'll need to remove. Simply use the safe open pry tool and gently pry it out. With this cover removed, we can then release the flex cables and the front camera, which is held into the front housing. Once these are kind of released out of the housing, we can then remove the full motherboard. Be careful and double check to ensure that you have no other connections onto the motherboard before attempting to remove it. Now that we have the motherboard removed, we're going to remove this lower flex cable. Just simply use a safe open pry tool and gently pry this up. It is held in place with a little bit of adhesive, so be careful not to rip or damage the cable. You then suggest removing the vibrate motor, which is up, located up here in the top left. Simply use a pry tool to gently lift up the adhesive holding the flex cable to the housing. Once these steps have been taken, you can then heat the screen assembly and gently pry up the LCD and touchscreen assembly from the front housing. This will require quite a bit of heat. Be careful not to overheat the sides and the plastic. 
uh, but once it has been heated and the adhesive is soft, it should come out fairly easily. For more information on removing the screen assembly, please revert back to our written repair guide, which is located at repairsuniverse.com.